The leading Angus brand has increased the number of pounds sold every year since 2005. But does that really mean demand for the product is soaring? Cattle Facts analyst Lance Zimmerman says yes. While at Kansas State University, he helped develop a certified Angus beef brand, Demand Index, to answer that very question. What we found was that certified Angus beef's product, compared to Choice, gave it a lot higher demand increase over uh, since 2002, essentially, uh, compared to Choice. Uh, you basically compare 2002 as the base year for each program. Whether that base year said that CAB was higher than Choice or Choice was higher than CAB, we can't really tell that from the research, but what we can tell is since 2002, demand for CAB outpaced choice. The index points to a 70% increase in CAB demand over those nine years, with choice up a modest 15%. Historically, we didn't look beyond choice beef demand to decide if it pays to aim for high quality. Well, today, we also have branded programs, and one of the largest, obviously, certified Angus beef. And so, you know, naturally, the next question is, how does the demand for a branded product change? And you bring in the other components of what aspects does a breed-specific brand program add to the value of beef in the consumer's mind? And so there was a need that was there and available, and the data was available, and the past research supported this as an accurate tool to measure demand. It can be hard to make a direct connection between farm-level prices and retail beef price stickers, but Zimmerman says the relationship is clear. What's important for producers to realize is that demand ultimately starts at the finished product. For us, that's the product that's in front of consumers, the beef they eat, whether it's a steak, a hamburger, or a roast. And so as those consumers demand more of that beef from their retail store or their restaurant, then in turn, those stores demand more beef from their packers and processors. In turn, the packers and processors demand more fed cattle that meet those specific criteria and ultimately trickles all the way down to the producer level. And so, yes, it is removed, but at the same time, it's definitely something we can't ignore. For more information, visit cabpartners.com and search for Demand Index. I'm Cindy Campbell.